Hi guys, Empestry here. How is everybody doing? I hope everybody's doing good. Okay, it's where I'm at. It's sun is shining, the breeze is blowing, the cloud is going. So like everything is going here. Anyway, folks, I'm not gonna I'm just gonna get to the point. Okay, folks, like I, I always said, you know, I like to try other cultures um dishes and stuff. So I have you know a few Thai friends and I'm Vietnamese friend. And this is one of their favorite, um, this could use as a side dish or it's part of the meal. And it's green papaya, green papaya, you know, um, basically, you know, we did stuff with the ripe ones before, but we never touch any green. And this is a green, green papaya salad and it's, um, <coughs> excuse me, it's called pop. They also call it papa. Yeah, so this is going to be a green papaya salad. And I just want to tell you a little bit about green papaya. Okay, so basically, um, the green, this, um, you know, basically papaya come from the southern part of um, Mexico. Um, you know, I, I went into it when I did papaya before. So it's basically come from the, the papaya comes from the genus Carica and are native of southern Mexico but are now grown well all over the world because you know it's growing in Germany any place hot it will be growing there okay all right so basically this is the unripe one it's green papaya and this is what it looks like here okay all right so you know there's a lot of benefit to 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 green papaya okay and um, basically it has some you know some really fantastic health benefits which can aid in you know in your body um, in many different ways okay so green papaya it contains many more live enzymes than the ripe ones okay and it include papain um that's one of the main just like in um in, um, in turmeric you have the main ingredient is curcurum so this is papain in this it's called papain and shenmo papain shenmo papain <laughs> And these um, the enzyme what they do they have to break down food in the body, including carbohydrate, fats, and protein. Okay, and they can help you to um lose weight too because it boosts their di digestive system. This regulates both irritable bowel syndrome and and constipation. And there's quite a few people in a certain culture that suffer from you know irritable bowel syndrome. It's not a pretty thing. It's very painful at time. Okay. So the papain has also been shown to reduce skin allergy, such as art, uh, eat, such as eat hive. It also contains vitamin C, vitamin A, folic, fiber, fiber, magnesium, potassium, copper. Um, you know, it's just loaded with a lot of stuff, folks. It's just loaded with a lot of stuff. I'm just gonna get into a little bit of it because this is a green one and um it totally it's totally when I want to do the research awesome and also for diabetic if you have a um, diabetes eating green papaya can reduce the glucose level in the blood and which in that sense by in you know it by reducing um, the glucose level it increased the insulin um, sensitivity naturally okay so they said basically when Christopher Columbus came to this so-called new world the fruit was so nice so beautiful he called it the fruit of the angel the fruit of the angel and you know what and they are well known for you know their delicious flavor and buttery um, consistency so I guess that's why he chose to call it that okay so the vitamin in and papaya, and papaya will help to protect your help your heart against heart disease by preventing oxidation of cholesterol and that is a serious thing these days, um, folks, with cholesterol building up in the, you know, in the bloodstream. It's anti-inflammatory, right? Okay, which soothes pain in many areas of the body. Papaya can help with asthma, back pain, neck pain, and these are all research stuff I'm telling you, folks. Arthritis, water retention, headaches, and many more inflammatory prob um, problem. It also have, it also rich in beta beta carotene. And you know, beta carotene help your immune system to function at its best. And it will also ward off invaders such as 
cold or flu infection. Uh, it also has potassium and the potassium, you know, help to regulate fluid within the cell of the body overall and making you feel more grounded and healthy. Okay. So that's a little, um, it, it, um, it's a lot more stuff, but I just give you that, um, you know, just a little information there on it, you know, because it's, um, it's a wonderful fruit and green. Okay. So basically in Thai, it's called Thai Sum Tum Papaya Salad. S-O-M-T-U-M. -M. And, and I would explain the sum. They say the sum because we're going to be using a martyr. You know, we're going to be using a martyr. So the sum mean a variety of salad that uh, is done in this martyr pestle. And they have a big one. Mine is a small one. Okay. So basically, we're going to start now, folks. So um, what is entail... Um, with the papaya, we're gonna have some string bean in it, garlic, um, palm sugar, but I don't have any today, so we can use brown sugar, some tomato, and some shrimps, dry shrimps, and you just put it to soak, and it became moist, and um, some peanuts, um, lime juice, um, chili peppers, fish sauce, and we're going to use some pure sesame seed oil and black pepper and cilantro, okay? And what everything is going to be doing is everything is going to be cutting up in the... It's going to be grinding up in the mortar. So I'm going to show you quickly how um, the papaya is... Um, it has to be shredded, okay? So folks, um, there's several ways to shred your papaya. If you have... Um, all I'm going to be shredding it is how I see... Um, they um they do it um in the in Thailand okay and I'll show you in a minute how that's done um but if you have a oh what am I uh, looking for if you if you have a mandolin that would be great or a julian peeler you know and those um none of those I have so and in, in Thailand basically what they do they you they go the normal way. And I'm gonna show you how that you know how the not what the normal way is, okay? So basically, the papaya you have a peel, okay? For the string bean, I leave that there for now. So the papaya you're gonna um be peeling it like that, okay? With a peeler, because it's gonna be shredded like how you would shred um, oh you know, you would shred um carrots and stuff like that, but only it's gonna be long, okay? So, like I said, if you have a julian or a mandolin, those are great to shred. And or you could you could use a knife, um, cut it and just shred it up. So, basically, this is what you do. You remove you remove the peel. And folks, it tastes like June plum. Some people um, know June plum as um, golden apple, and it tastes like a green. Because first when I started it, um. You know, I thought, how is it going to taste? And when I taste a piece of it, it tastes like um, June plum, a green June plum. Nice. So basically, papaya, the green to me right now, it tastes much better than the rice. So folks, this is what um, I've seen they're doing. Um, you can um, actually, okay, basically go like this. And then you could... Um, Shred it very thin, you know. Minute. Oops. So this is what you do. You will shred it very thin with a knife like this. Okay. But the other way to do it. Oh, I see um, most Thai people in Thailand do it. Okay, let me just uh, get rid of a little bit more of the skin. And okay, so folks, this you have to be very careful. These people are very skilled with it, okay? So you're going to go like this. Cut it all the way down like that. But make small, you know, incision. You go like that. Wash your hands and don't be watching no TV or anything. Just focus on this. 
And I would say, use a mandolin or go and get a... So you see, you'll go like this. This is how they go. They do it in Thailand and um, most places. And when you do go it like that, then all you're going to do, you're going to come like this. And then you're going to remove it. See? Then you're going to get it. See? That's it. You just keep going like this. And you're going to... Because you're going to... Chop down as far as possible, okay? And you go like that. And you get all that shredded. So you just continue to. But like I said, watch your hand, folks. If you dare to do it this way, okay? And once you do that, you just go like this. And you just shred it. See that? Yeah, you just go like that. And this is how I saw most... um um taiwan and most asian do it they hardly use a mandolin some people use a mandolin but this is how i saw they do it okay there you go you see and you get it ready so you're gonna chop down as close as possible you know and then you just cut then you're gonna be just cut and it come up like little spaghetti see that so that's it basically you see you hit the seed inside the redness and down there it tastes very good so that's how you do it so what i do folks i add most of mine ready but what i do i put it in some ice water because this is a dish you want to have it crispy okay so um i put it in some ice water yeah this is it right here and I'm just gonna strain the water off and you get off all the um the moisture because you don't want to have a lot of um, moisture in this dish, okay? So it's in ice water right now, and what it that does it keep it crispy, you know. So I am just gonna um pour off the water, okay. I when I was in school in George Brown, I met many um taiwanese and um vietnamese and i even have a friend when she went home she brought me back a very nice jade um ring from vietnam her name is julie and this is how i learned a lot about all of these um dishes from them so she julie called me and said you gotta make a you gotta make a, a papaya green papaya salad and hop there and we want to see it so i said okay okay so i'm just getting as much i'm getting all the water out right now i'm just gonna let that drain for now folks um and i'm gonna start um doing because everything is done, it's done, it's grind up in the, in the mortar. So right now, okay. So I have the mortar here and I'm going to add the garlic. So I'm just going to sort of chop it first before I put it in there. And it's going to be grind up in the mortar. And they have, they use a big, huge mortar, not small as this. So you're going to use, I'll put all of this in the description so people can see. But I like a lot of garlic, so I use, I'm using quite a bit. So, and for the string bean folks, um, you could, they use, um, um, Chinese or Asian string bean, but, um, you can use, um, the normal string bean. So when you get the string bean, you're going to cut both ends and you're going to do it like this. Just, okay. You're just going to cut it like that. Just slice it down like that. Okay. I'll do another one. I have a few, I have that all cut it up already. So, yeah, because all this is gonna be done in the mortar, you know, gonna be up in the mortar. I wish I have a larger mortar, but um, that's it. So um, we're gonna add um the shrimps. Then we're just gonna keep adding everything. I'm that is drying out right now, folks. That makes too much noise. I'm just um and you're not gonna grind it up till it um become 
watery or stuff like that. You're just going to grind it to a nice consistency. You don't want to get the paste. And because my mother is small, I'm just going to keep adding in and taking out stuff, okay? So this is it. I have to do it that way, I think. Okay. And um, I don't know if I can have. So the shrimp is dry shrimp. So you buy shrimp dry and then what you do, you put it to soak. Okay. And then it becomes um, soft and nice. So... gonna get the um because everything that's gonna be pouring on top of it so this is all to drain from um and it feels very crispy right now so this is what you do when you slice it up just put it in some put some ice cube and some water so as i go along because i don't have a lot of more um Pesto matter. I'm just gonna keep doing and then just adding it to the bowl. So I have a small one. They have these great big ones because you know these are restaurant they in, so they use it a lot. So, so I'm gonna put in the rest of the shrimp right now. And also, gonna, I'm gonna grind up some peanuts, but I'm gonna leave some for um just to um, garnish you know and the tomato everything is going to be grind up everything is going to be grind up i'm just going to put a few pieces and the tomatoes and stuff they don't have to be grind to, to either just to a certain you know softness okay so i'm just doing the shrimps right now and the tomato And so like I said, I have to keep just adding stuff in. It's a beautiful salad, folks. It is so nice. Anybody who's never tried papaya, you should give it a try. I'm just going to do some of the, um, the green. It's making a lot of noise, so I'm going to. And this is just green um string bean you know it's not um cook or anything and you don't get no better than this folks for um your vitamins this is natural you know so i'm just gonna scrape this over and if i'm gonna keep doing this folks i gotta buy me a, a bigger pestle because this is what they do with everything in in the martyr so that's and this recipe folks um they didn't do any measurements really and when i go in i'll see i think i just i dash it this i dash it that i put a few pieces of tomato with this When you use the cilantro folks you use the the, the the stem of it that's where you get a lot of the flavors lots of flavor down there so i'm gonna put a few put um okay and these are raw peanut and i you and you you, you um toast them they're so nice you get a raw peanut and you just toast it for a couple minutes and it's awesome so some i'm gonna grind up right now put in and some I'm just gonna put around it as garnish I think if this stuff go in the blender it'll be too or even the magic bullet it'll be too mushy uh, but this is a traditional way of um, cooking in and um, in um, Asia in Thailand in Vietnam places like that 
You just use the mortar to grind up everything. Just gonna add that also to it. And this is a salad for when you make the, 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 um, the dressing. If you're not gonna use it right away, don't put on um, the dressing on it. Right away, till you're ready. And this salad, you make it, and it's best if you leave it for a little while. And you can eat it right away, but it's always good to just leave it for, for about an hour or so in the fridge. I'm gonna add some cilantro. And this is a part of the cilantro I said, folks. This is the stem, this is where all the good stuff is. Awesome. I'm going to be using some leaf, but this part of the cilantro is where a lot of the flavors are. So I'm just, you just wash it, make sure you wash it very good and to get out all the, um, to get out all the sand from it. Okay. Uh, it's going like very sandy. Um, so I'm going to put a few pieces of leaf part in it to grind up um, and then the rest um some of the rest is going to be um a few pieces just for garnishing i'm gonna leave a little just to um garnish and cilantro is like it it's like it parsley doesn't have anything on it parsley i've got my mouth very good but the flavor in cilantro it is to die for. Some people call it um I think I think in England they call it what coriander or something like that. Yeah. So I'm gonna leave this bit just like I'm gonna leave some um peanuts to um so I'm gonna add this to and uh, beat this up. And if, if I had a big mortar, folks, I would just mix everything in. I will just add all the, the wet seasoning, everything. But because I only have this, it, just, it doesn't really matter. But it would be a lot better. Just everything grind up and you just throw everything in and do it. But like I said, um, okay, I'm going to put in some sugar, a bit of sh sugar. Right now, like it's palm sugar is the best sugar to use. But if you don't have palm sugar, access to palm sugar, you use um, brown sugar. Okay. And like you say, don't crush it all up. You just I want pieces, big pieces up. So I'm gonna add in the rest of the sugar. And it's about two, two, two tablespoons of sugar, I think. Yeah. And a few pieces. And you just crush it. You just And because I know this is all going to be eaten, I am just going to put in all the seasoning, all the dressing, because stuff like this doesn't last at my place too long. And folks, the combination of the sugar against the, um, the spicy um, chili peppers. You could use green or red chili peppers. I have all my chili peppers already um, cut up and... Um, just gonna put it in. You could use um green chili pepper and if you have already used red, okay? okay let me just turn these off and then we start adding all the um
set up by FP. Okay, so folks, I'm gonna bring it over here right now, and we're gonna add all the other ingredients to it. So right now we have a, about two tablespoons of lime lime juice. Lime lime is big in um about two tablespoons of lime juice. The chili was supposed to be added when I but because I have it grind up already, um I'm just gonna add it. And all of that, everything you see like, like I said, if I have a large um pesto, everything would be all grind up. And this chili is really wicked i'm gonna put some cracked black pepper and right now i'm gonna put um do you like it this is a the fish sauce and about i think i'm gonna put about two tablespoons i bought it a fish sauce and we're gonna have some cure sesame seed oil about a tablespoon because you want to balance out everything okay and once you taste it and you think you need more stuff you just add stuff to it so oh i should be using my arm um, so and this salad can be eaten as a appetizer or it's part of the main course they do it both in um in thailand when you go to a Thai restaurant here in Toronto, you could get this as a appetizer or a main course, part of the main course. And they like to do it with a fried chicken. So I did some chicken leg early on. What I do with the chicken, I put it in a brine overnight. It's so nice when you do your chicken like that. A fried, you put it in a brine and a brine is... um. A portion of salt with sugar and all your spices and you leave it in the fridge for about 24 hours then you fry your chicken and folks it's um one day i'll show you how to do that um folks mm. Mm. the spiciness of the chili and the saltness of the um the sauce, I'll give it a little bit more. The combination is awesome, folks. Put a little bit more fish sauce. Drop in a little because Thai food is very spicy. Korean, Thai, Vietnamese, they're all spicy. The dishes are all spicy, like ours. They could come and you could give them food cooked with um, scotch bonnet pepper like crazy and they could heat it and it's like nothing. You see the, um, all the juice in the bottom? So folks, this is the papaya. Could use a little bit more lime juice. Mmm, awesome. Folks, that is so good. Folks, please like my video, share, and subscribe for me. Okay? And hit the notification bell, folks. Please. So, when there's, when there's lots of new videos coming up. Lots and lots of new videos. So, see, folks, that was very fast. So I'm just gonna so the rest of the peanut now and the cilantro I am gonna just put as garnish and if you like peanut folks it's 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 awesome this is an awesome dish salad wow so you sit right now in this beautiful vinaigrette you know and like I said all of this is gonna be eaten the papaya folks say make sure you get a very green papaya because if you get it and it's ripe it started ripe then you won't have that crunchiness in it okay so 
Make sure you get a green papaya, okay? And when you're doing it first, you have to do it in a martyr. This sh dry shrimps and everything. And this, you know, you can have as much as you want. I'm just going to move this out of the way. Sprinkle a little. Let me go get the chicken on it. And I shall return. And it's just basically... This is um, chicken leg. Whoops. I'm just going to add some um, peanuts on it. I'll run it. So folks, this is a Thai papaya salad. Mm. This is so good folks. LG2. You have all that string bean that has so much vitamin and mineral. A little bit more. So I just just do some fried chicken along with it peanuts all over and that is a green papaya salad folks with fried chicken You could have it with any anything you like. You could have it with beef. Um, just like it, just like that, you know. But um, they like to have their fried chicken along with it. Or they have some meat with it. But fried chicken is a popular thing. I've been telling that. So folks, um, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Okay, appreciate it. And this is the green papaya here, and this is a green papaya salad. Um, Thai, it's a Thai salad. That in Thai, um, so it's called a Thai. Where is it? Well, it's a green papaya Thai salad, okay? That's what it is. So, Please like, folks, share, and subscribe. Okay? And thanks for watching. Yes, it's a Thai Sam Tam green papaya salad. And it's S-O-M-T-U-M. And like I said, the Sam, it means like, um, you know, they use a variety of salad to make in a, in a mortal pestle. And that's why they call it that. So it's um, basically it's Thai Sam Tam green papaya salad. And another name for papaya is papa, P-A-W-P-A-W, -P -A -W, okay? So, folks, that's it. So, thanks for watching, everybody. Big up yourself, Marie Bravo, Marie and Mello, down in Florida. And um, in Jamaica, Fire and Richard Brown, big up yourself. Go show them some support. And please, folks, again, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so very much. Have a good day. Peace.